Drew is in with a live clan clash and attack. What's he coming in with? Oh my gosh, is this the same base we were planning on? They're running two of the same base. <laughs> and he's coming in with a queen charge hybrid. What a guy. <clears throat> Trying to send the king into the town hall chamber. That king's taken a lot of damage from the warden super early. Should have had that wizard on the dark storage like 10 years ago, Drew. That was a big waste of health. Oh well. I think he wants the king to take out the town hall, but I don't think the king's gonna take out the town hall. He's just gonna... <laughs> Drew! What the heck was that freeze? Oh no. He's gotta use another one just to make sure the town hall goes down. Here we go. Where's the queen charge gonna start? He waits until there's two minutes and 14 seconds to start his queen charge. Oh no. Dragons in the CC. We need healers on the queen, Drew. There we go. Healers are down. Send a Coco Loon, please. What's the plan for the multi? I don't know. Gonna rage right here. Yeti on the bottom side. Does he have a plan for the multi? I don't know if he does. Queen gets through the dragon with ease. <clears throat> She's gonna step up into the scatter shot compartment. I don't know how she gets this multi though. Maybe the Yeti mites can grab it somehow. Come on, Yeti mites. No, they're not gonna be enough, are they? Gotta rage up that queen again. Yeti mites damage the multi a little bit, but they don't kill it. What was that headhunter, Drew? Headhunter goes across the map and does nothing. Multi is on our healers. Drew, start. Start. Come on. Send the miners to the multi. We popped the queen ability. Healers are almost dead. He <laughs> we lost all the healers. Drew! No! Hybrid's going into the bomb tower. Got to drop an early heal. Come on, heal. Heal. Thank you. Queen died. She didn't get the single or the second scatter. It would have been so nice if she got that second scatter. Hogs from the Siege Barracks are coming out. We're going to rage up the hybrid. Pop the Warden ability. That's some really good value over here at 9 o'clock. Troops are going to be able to get through that entire section. RC is doing really good. She's going to fight the enemy RC within the rage spell, which definitely helps out a ton. Still going to have to pop her ability, though. Heal up the Hogs. Most of the Miners go to the outside of the base. Peck and Wizards trying their best to funnel everybody in, but the Miners still go outside. He sneaks in a couple of sneaky balloons for the cannon over here. Very good usage of the balloons. Hogs are going to make their way over here into the scattershot compartment. They're going to get absolutely melted bacon on the grill. We have a back-in wall breaker to give us access to the single target inferno, but it's absolutely going to roast our P.E.K.K.A. We still got a ton of miners alive. Imagine if that queen didn't lose all her healers. She would have gotten all these defenses, and it probably could have worked. Nice try to Drew. Ooh, woo, ooh, woo. But it's not going to get it done. Ten seconds to go. Miners are going to path. They're going to split up a little bit. Some on the top side, some in the middle. Scattershot's going to do a lot of damage here. Three seconds to go. We're going to be able to grab 90%. There we go. Nice try to Drew. But it's not going to work out. 91% there. All right. So let's check out these stats for Mochinos. Currently here in day number five, we are five for seven to their 0 for three, which is honestly pretty good. All right. We did lose day number two, as you can see in the bottom, but there is good news. The clan that beat us on day number two lost their next war on day number three, which means Mochinos still has a good chance at winning and getting promoted to champs too. Let's see if they can do it. I'm going to be coming in with my attack here on base number 14. And yeah, it, it's a pretty similar base. In fact, I dare say it's, it looks almost the exact same as that base that Drew just failed on. Rip Drew. His plan probably could work. But we're going to do something completely different. We're coming in with a Sui Lalo. And it's not with invisibility. It's not going to be a Blizzard Lalo like I've done a million times lately. Instead, we're going to be coming in with the Yeti Bomb right here with a Hound in front. Just to make sure. I mean, I probably could use like four loons. But we're just going to be extra safe. Use the Hound in case there's a tornado or something. With the Rage, grab this Town Hall down. Grab all these defenses. Funnel in behind with like a wizard right here. Uh, use a baby dragon to funnel these gold mines down here. Send king, queen with an ice golem and a wall breaker to go suey into this compartment. I'm going to send my royal champion here to grab these defenses. And she's going to actually go join up with the suey. We should be able to take out the scatter shot. We should be able to take out the inferno, the CC troops, the queen. And if I'm lucky with the queen pathing, she could reach the second scatter. But I'm not going to count on it. Not going to count on it at all. Uh, she might just path this way and go beat on a wall or something. There's a plan for the Sui. Then we're going to be starting the Lalo probably from this top side over here, just like this, with two hounds. I'm still going to have two more hounds, most of the loons, the warden in, and just 
haste and freeze our way through the back side of the base probably gonna pop an early warden ability with headhunters to kill the rc negate the damage from the eagle and then i'll probably invest one or two freezes on the eagle just so it doesn't do too much damage to our balloons so that's the plan right there hopefully it's gonna work out and hopefully we can get another triple for Mochinos here on base number 14. Now let's check out this army comp. Do I have everything I need? We're actually gonna have a heal for the Lalo because we don't have any invisibility spells. We got tons of room for extra spells. We do have the Rage for the Blimp, but that's it. One Ice Golem, two Normal Hounds, one Ice Hound, three Headhunters. I probably only need two, but I'm gonna take three to be safe. The Wall Breaker, the Funnel Wizard, and Baby Dragon. I think we're good to go. Let's do it. Let's give it a try. Wish me luck. And here we go for the triple. We're in. We're in. Take a second. Get the nerves out. Take a sip of water. This one's for you, Mom. Here we go. Boom. No traps. Nice. Boom. Rage right there. Blimp pops. Drop the wizard here. Funnel, sneaky goblins go on the outside, make even more of a funnel, perfect. We can drop this guy, we can drop this guy. Boom, boom, and boom. They're gonna go in. We can drop the road champion to assist. One minion already down. Off this king ability, oh no, the single. I didn't want to invest a freeze, but I kind of want that king to stay alive. So I'm going to freeze the single. Pop king ability. RC is going to pop her ability over here on the bottom side. She's going to get a ton of defenses. Oh, we're not going to kill the enemy queen? <gasps> no. I could have invested a freeze right there. Probably could have gotten the queen. Give me the sweeper at least, please. Oh. We almost killed the queen, but we didn't. Big sad. Here we go. She's got a full send. We're gonna drop an early haste over here. Boom, boom, boom. We're gonna pop this warden ability now. Heal up right there for the loons. Freeze this queen, haste in the core. Freeze the eagle, just like I said I wanted to earlier. One more haste here. Freeze this. Haste the bottom side. Clean up minions on the top. Did we have enough spells to get through that? We did. Look at that. So many spells for the Lalo and boom, it's crushed. 60 seconds on the clock. We can drop the clean up minions down south. No more defenses alive. Warden and at least 93 loons in the end. That is smashed. The Lalo was perfect. Even though the Sui didn't get the value we wanted it to. Luckily, the Lalo was clean enough that we were able to get the job done. And even with the Builder Hut that I missed, some of the minions are going to path over there. Plenty of time on the clock. 35 seconds to spare. There's the Tornado Trap. We trigger it at the last second, but it doesn't matter. That's a Clan Clash triple for another 40 cups. What? No, this isn't Legends. Never mind. That's a, a, a cripple. A triple. Shoot. We got alive. Moonlight. Why does everybody try to sneak in? While I'm doing my attack, they don't want me to record them. They're shy, but he got a triple. <gasps> yes, there we go. We're going to go ahead and watch this one back. See what Moonlight did. There's another triple on the board. What did Moonlight do? Let's check out Moonlight's attack. It just finished literally like one second ago. So it's basically like a live attack. Pretend it's alive. Shh, you don't see the replay button. It's a live attack. Hound and Blimp. Let's make this one time speed. Blimp gets all the way to the core. Three Skelly Traps. Holy balls. We're going to make that all invisible. Hopefully we can get the scatter, and we do. That last invisibility was perfect. There we go. We can take out the scatter, please. Get the dragons, too, hopefully, and the queen. Ooh, nice. They didn't kill the dragons, but they damaged them quite a bit. Gutted the entire core, which is super good. And it's going to be a Lalo attack here to follow up. We're going to send the ice golem, the king, and the queen over here at 2 o'clock. Wall break in. King's gonna go inside. He didn't, oh, he did bring a poison. There it goes, poison on the dragons. He can take out the Royal Champion. So both the Queen and the Royal Champion 
are already dead before we even start the Lalo. So we have three headhunters that we don't even need. He can just swag them. Sends the RC just to help assist with the Sui. Could drop the headhunters to help her fight the enemy king. Nah, we're just going to swag the headhunters. Oh, he does drop them. Nicely done. They're going to help make sure that RC doesn't take too much damage from this king. She does take one slap to the face, but that's it. Queen, I think, can reach the scatter shot there on the back end. And he goes ahead and starts the Lalo from the top side nice and early to make sure he doesn't time fill. He trusts that the queen will step up, get that scatter shot with the help of the royal champion. And she does beautiful Sui value here from Moonlight. Rest of the Lalo troops coming in from 10 o'clock. Early war and ability right there. Finds a tornado trap by the eagle, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He got way too much value early on. He can just coast through the rest of the space, dropping his spells as he pleases. Queen actually beats through a wall, grabs the back end air defense and single target inferno. Basically could have swagged that last freeze. Beautiful hit from Moonlight right there. Holy crap. And now let's check out the stats again here in day number five in Mochinos against Parak Warrior. We are seven for nine to their 0 for 3. So looking pretty strong for Mochinos to win this war in day number 5. And if you're curious as to how we did in the previous days, day number 1 we got 37 stars. Day number 2 we did unfortunately get a lot of fails and lose that war, 32 to 36. But the rest of the wars we've been doing pretty solid, 37, 40. And today we're looking pretty good as well. We'll have to wait and see in the next episode if we actually come out on top and win the rest of these wars and get promoted to champs too.